Hey Tigers, welcome to the show that lets you see our generation's culture in a biblical perspective to help you press forward and navigate through life. I am your host, Fave Salin. Be ready to discover God's grace and faithfulness here in Lighthouse. Sobrang pasaway ko, Mr. Jante. At hindi lang Mr. Jante, sobrang pasaway ko anak ng magulang ko. My mom is a single parent and I'm only I'm an only child. So, she's really very strict. And what she does is, pag nag-sleep over ako sa ilong bahay, inaalam niya yung landline numbers ng, ng mga friends ko to make sure na doon ako mismo sa bahay na yun nagsistay. And dalawang friends ko lang yung inaalaw na nakasama ko. Now, there was one time na ang paalam ko, kasama ko yung isang kong friend. Doon ako magsistay sa bahay nila. Pero ang totoo, iba yung kasama ko. So, ang ginawa ng mami ko, uh, tinawagan niya yung landline nila at kinausap yung parent. And, nalaman, nahuli ako na hindi ako doon natutulog, na hindi ako doon nagsistay. Siyempre, nagalit yung mami ko, ang dami niyang sinabi, ang dami yung pagdidisiplina. And, um, dun, siyempre, ikaw bilang uh, bata ka pa and you're still in high school, you're, you're still very stubborn you find it very irritating. Lahat ng sermon, lahat ng sinasabi ng mami ko, sobrang nakakairita. Hindi ko nare-realize nun yung purpose. In Proverbs chapter 3, verse 11 to 12, it says there, My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, or be wary of his reproof. For the Lord reproves him whom he loves, as a father the son in whom he delights. Tough love is defined by Oxford as promotion of a person's welfare, by enforcing certain constraints on them or requiring them to take responsibility for their actions. The Bible has numerous insights about this topic as well. Now let us take a look at how different we and the word define tough love. Number one, we say that anyone who loves me should not hurt me. We believe na dapat um, yung friend natin sensitive sa nararamdaman natin or you should know my feelings. Ganun eh, lalo na pag best friend mo. You should know my feelings. Dapat natatansya mo ako and you should only feed me with good stuff. Ayoko nang, ayoko nang negative. Ayoko nang, you should know what I want. We believe that someone who professes love should only be kind, courteous, mindful, and careful. They would always want to be the best for the person that they love. A person who loves should make sure that no harm would come to the one they love. But what does the Bible say about this? We are God's children, and He disciplines us for our good. Again, in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 12, it says there, For the Lord reproves him whom he loves, as a father the son in whom he delights. So in this picture, we are the son, and God is the father. So siya yung magulang natin. Because we are His children, God is mindful of us, and the motivation of His discipline is love. God knows that sin and the undisciplined parts of our lives will eventually destroy us. He wants the best for us, and His wisdom is something that we can trust. Diba, minsan feeling natin, we know the best. Na ito best na to, ito na yung uh, makakabuti sa akin, or we got it all figured out. But you know what? We can never um, say na mas magaling tayo because God knows everything. His wisdom is always higher than ours, and it's something that we can always put our trust in. You know, tough love comes from God's fatherly love, and He loves us despite who we are. Remember, in our pilot episode, we mentioned that God loves us extravagantly no matter how flawed we are? It is the same love that would not allow us to stay where we are. For example, um, we're about to go in danger, or you're about to get yourself into trouble. Just like your parents here on earth, God would not allow that to happen. God would always whisper to your ears and tell you that it's wrong, and that it's gonna um, bring you to danger. Now, there are more different views about tough love that we can look at. So don't go away, Lighthouse will be right back. Lighthouse, and you're still with me, Fave Salin. Earlier, we've come to know that tough love is a fatherly love from God. Now, let's dive into the next world's view of it. We say that tough love is relative across cultures and generations. Punishment and discipline differ for each country and for every generation. 
different schools of thought in psychology suggest differing ideas about which method is most effective. Some countries have laws that state which kind of discipline are allowable and prohibited. Some parents would ground their kids from doing certain activities and others would give the rod. Na try na ba yung um napapalo kayo ng magulang nyo kaya nag-grounded kayo? It's very common, right? But nowadays, the no Wi-Fi punishment and no phone timeout has also become one of the options. Some parents are stricter than others, like mine. My, my mom is really very strict. This must also be true for other forms of relationships since it is said that our expression of love and discipline is highly influenced by what occurs in the home and the culture that we are mostly exposed to. But what is really the truth? What is the truth? The Bible says tough love is biblical. It's not only um, on the surface level that it's very common, that we see it everywhere, we see it in different corners, in different countries, by the laws, but it says there it's also biblical. From the Old Testament, Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 19, teach them to your children, talking about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. To the New Testament in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 and 4, children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother so that you it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. You see, God commands parents to discipline their children from time pa lang ni Moses until uh, Jesus ascended to heaven. God is already instructing the parents to discipline their children. So one of the first words as a parent teaches a baby is the word share. This is because a baby would always want something for themselves, thinking that they are the center of the universe. Our sinful nature would always lead us to selfishness. God established that we need tough love in order for us to be modeled into selfless men and women that He has destined for us to be those who would share in His holiness. Kasi diba, kahit bata eh, there is battling, there is, there is battling sharing. May, ano, may kurot sa puso mo when you share. Because that is our nature. Our nature is to be selfish. But God is using the, um, His discipline to mold us into being the, the men and women of, of generosity. So, dun pa lang may kita na natin. Even not in giving. God is... Maybe right now, God is asking you to do something and it requires um, a certain uh, habit na mahirap or a certain discipline that you have to, to develop and to work on. That is part of God's discipline that He wants you to, to see out of a fatherly love. Now, time for a quick break. We still have more when we come back. Stay tuned only here in Lighthouse. two points we mentioned. One is we are God's children and He disciplines us for our good. And we've also discovered that tough love is biblical. The worldview is that I need to be surrounded by only positive people and be friends with those who agree with me. We can see that in Twitter, in Facebook, or we hear that in podcasts and vlogs. We, we hear them saying, uh, I, I should avoid toxic people. I should avoid negative people. There can be so much negativity around, some people have found the need to stay away from those who would always disagree with them. The belief is that there is nothing wrong with avoiding people who hurt you because toxic people would only see the wrong things you do and would never acknowledge the progress that you are in. But the Bible says we need people in our lives who will tell the truth even if it hurts. Now the Proverbs chapter 27 verse 6 would tell, Wounds from a sincere friend are better than many kisses from an enemy. Try nyo na ba yung may dumi kayo sa mukha, tapos buong araw, ang dami-dami mo na napuntahan, andun lang pala siya, hindi mo alam, until someone tells me, oy, may dumi sa mukha mo. Tapos maalala mo lahat ng kinausap mo, lahat ng pinuntahan mo, nakita rin kaya nila yun, or bakit hindi nila sinabi sa akin. We will always have blind spots. God knows this, and this is why He has designed us to be part of a community. We need friends who would be genuine and authentic to us. While we need, um, we need friends and family who would speak the truth in love, 
we also need to be humble enough to receive correction and accept the fact that we do not know everything and we are not always right about something. Of course, nagkahamali din tayo and maybe um, we, we, we all want to be, uh, to be friends with people belonging to a group, maybe because of sense of belongingness. But aside from that, minsan nakakalimutan natin yung other part na of being friends with, with people. We just take the benefit na, ah, good times, we should uh, have the same interest or you should always be in agreement with me. But we neglect the fact that they should always correct you. They should also correct you and they should also uh, tell you the harsh truth because their intention is not to embarrass you but to actually build you up. That is actually one of the things, one of the importance of having friends because um, they see uh, they see you from a different perspective, not from uh, the emotional perspective or sa lahat ng nakikita. Kasi pag ikaw nakikita mo lang yung lahat ng, ano yun, ng, ng ginagawa mo, but they see it in a different way. They see it kung paano nakaka-apekto na yung actions mo, which you're not aware of. We must also be wise enough to know the difference between speaking the truth and love and abuse. Warren Wiersbe, a Christian author, put it this way, truth without love is brutality. Love without truth is hypocrisy. While we are called to not withhold the truth, we must also learn how to do so with gentleness and grace. There, you know, there are um, friends na kaya kong sabihin natin na, ay, pangit ang suot mo, ay, hindi okay yung tura mo ngayon. Because there are types of relationship na merong, na kaya mo yun. But, um, there are also people na very important sa kanila yung words. And it, pag sinabi mo sa kanila yung ganitong word, it would really affect their emotions. And you should be careful. You should be wise which words you should be saying. And at the end of the day, re-evaluate your intention. Because again, as I mentioned, your intention is not to, to destroy the person. Your your intention is to build the person up. Now, if that wouldn't build the person up, then uh, rethink of uh, other ways to tell him or to tell her kung ano yung mali sa kanya. Kasi if you just correct flatly, pero hindi nag apply sa relationship niyo yung ganong style ng correction, then that will just um, that will just destroy even your relationship. Not just the person, but even your relationship. Mas lalong hindi nakikinig or mas lalong lalayo yung tao. Don't push people away just because you think that, ah, correction is biblical, ganyan. But be careful and again, be wise. And um, also, now, now I want you to think as an application, how do you think we, sh uh, we should respond whenever our parents or a close friend correct us? Paano kaya? With all the things that we've mentioned, with the three things, three points na, na na discover natin today, what do you think should be our response or attitude? If you have any concerns in life that you need answers to, maybe I can help you. We can ask God together about that. Remember that this journey is not meant to be walked alone. Feel free to message me on my social media accounts. Fave at Salin on Facebook and at Fave Salin on Twitter and Instagram or on USC Tiger TV. That's USC Tiger TV on Facebook and at US Tiger TV on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. See you again for another episode of Discovering God's Grace and Faithfulness. This has been Fave Salin and you are watching Lighthouse.